All right, here we are, the EPC booth showing off the latest in GAN, and you can see uh, our helicopter here uh, running off of wireless power. There's a little transmitter down there and a receiver on the helicopter. Of course, I know how to break these things better than anybody. Um, another uh, wireless power example here, this is uh, for soldier systems, and it can transfer a lot of power very quickly. Uh, wirelessly so the soldiers can be recharged when they sit in their Humvees. Uh, we have in the world of wireless power and I think this is the year of wireless power. Uh, this is a center console from a vehicle. Uh, now that our cell phones are going to start taking over the infotainment of the, of the car, we need to have the cell phones recharged otherwise they're going to have to be, uh, your car is going to stop working. So we have here several phones, they're all charging nicely off of the center console here. I think this is the future of the car. Your infotainment will be driven by your uh, smartphone and it'll have to be wirelessly charged while it's doing it or you're going to run out of gas. More in the wireless power, we just published our book, Wireless Power Handbook by Michael DeRoy. came out on Thursday and there's another example of a wireless charger uh, making a uh, battery for a, uh, uh, a uh, drill work. and. Uh, then we move on to the biggest application we have today, which is envelope tracking. As 4G LTE proliferates over the world, there are base stations, macro stations, micro stations. All of them are, are converting to something called envelope tracking to double their efficiency. And here's an example of one that's in production uh, by a company that's called New Edge Signal Solutions. Uh, we have other companies also manufacturing uh, envelope tracking solutions. Uh, for 4G LTE and that is a very big application for GAN today. Audio amplifiers, uh, this year uh, or actually in 2014 Technics was relaunched by Panasonic with our GAN transistors. Uh, here's a demo board for that. And then this is a product with a demo board and a demonstration circuit around it. Our today, uh, we released the press release uh, a few hours ago, and I'm going to turn it over to the creator of this. Uh, this is a 500 watt eighth brick converter. So, John Glazier, uh, take over the microphone and tell us a little bit about this. Okay, what I have here is a 500 watt eighth brick converter, and the typical eighth brick converter using a, a telecommunication system, data center, uh, web, web pages, and the rest. And most of these are 240 watts, and a couple managed to eke out 300 watts at reduced voltage. Relatively straightforward, and with the EGAN FETs, been able to double the output power. So what we have is a 500 watt eighth brick converter, and if you look over here, running actually a little over 500 watts, 42 amps out at 12 volts. So. Hey, thank you, John. So, as you can see, GAN is going everywhere. This is really the year of GAN. We see wireless power, envelope tracking, uh, LiDAR applications, DC to DC applications. Over there, there's a, a very small adapter for uh, from Finsex, which is a 65 watt power supply for your computer. Computer adapter, it replaces one of these, filled with our devices. And uh, GAN is really just taking over, and I think that uh, everybody is going to agree by the end of this year that GAN will crush silicon, and it's happening now. Thanks very much.